Hello everyone and welcome back to the 13 Nights of Magic, a series dedicated to the most horrifying stories and creatures found in Magic the Gathering in celebration of this Halloween season. Today's topic hits a little closer to home than many others found throughout MTG, because well these creatures aren't limited to just the multiverse. We can find these disease ridden couriers of epidemics in our own world. No matter where you find them, they're always creepy and somewhat misunderstood. They're rats. As I said, rats aren't just found in our world, they're also well represented in our favorite card game. These common and prolific creatures can be found on many planes, thriving in all manners of environments and climates. For example, rats on Dominaria often plague the port cities of the plain. They are responsible for the loss of shipped food and grain and the spread of diseases. As ships come and go from the ports, the easily missed rats come along for the ride and so do their plagues. The rats of Dominaria aren't only known for spreading disease or destroying shipments, they're also known for their aggression. The wharf rats, as they've become known, have even been caught attacking people as they walked by the docks. On one account, a young girl named Annette was found dead after she was swarmed by the rodents. On the Phyrexian world of Wrath, rats have evolved even greater aggressive tendencies. The dungeons of Wrath's ruler, Volrath, are infested with rats whose bloodthirst makes them rabid. They will attack anything which comes near them, biting, gnawing, and consuming whatever flesh they can in this harsh world. It certainly makes for a great torturing tool for Volrath's dungeons. But it's on the plane of Kamigawa that rats and magic have really evolved. Besides being simple-minded pack animals searching for their next meals, Rats on Kamigawa have reached a point where they are more humanoid than rat. These are known as the Nazumi, a race of anthropomorphic rats. Their society is simple and somewhat primitive, living in the swamps of Teknuma and on the outskirts of human cities. They are still scavengers by nature, feeding off what is easily available or discarded by other races. But some among them are skilled fighters and some have even learned how to cast spells. The Nazumi have inherited normal rat tendencies to run in packs, often forming gangs to provide strength in numbers. These gangs sometimes raid human cities for supplies should they be desperate enough, or they raid for fun if they're strong enough. Average Nazumi prefer to fight like rogues, sticking to the shadows and ambushing a victim with a single precise strike. Nazumi who train solely for combat adopt a ninja fighting style, relying on swift attacks, deception and stealth. Other Nazumi who focus on magic either use necromancy to spread illnesses to their enemies or a form of conjuration, summoning swarms of insects to confuse and distract them. Of course other types of rats exist in the MTG multiverse, such as the Dirty Were Rat, which is a human rat subcreature. Basically, it's a human curse to take the form of a rat, much like a werewolf but a lot lamer. Oh, and let's not forget about zombie rats. Those rats who died and became animated by a necromancer, like Rotting Rats and Gutter Skulk. Rats in MTG are usually aligned to black mana, with some rare few also aligned with red. The only three rats to be multicolored are Gob Hobbler Rats, Hellhole Rats, and Sanity Gnars. Rats are typically associated with two different effects, their power and toughness being based on the number of rats in play, such as Swarm Rats and Relentless Rats or discarding effects, making your opponent discard a card from their hand, such as Drainpipe Vermin and Jittering Rats. In Magic, Ogres have developed a strange bond and relationship with rats. Perhaps they're both misunderstood exiles of a mainstream culture who rejects them, or more likely they just both like smelly things. Either way, the Ogre Slumlord is able to bring rats together and gives them all death touch. The most famous rat in MTG would probably have to be Maronar, an Azumi rogue from Kamigawa. He is noted as being the strongest, fastest, and most cunning rat to have ever lived throughout the multiverse. He was the leader of his own gang when he defeated three rival gang leaders in a single night, uniting them all under his banner. Though his operation was very much underground and not very nice all things considered, Maronar still had more pride and honor than you'd find in your typical rat. He even sacrificed himself to save his allies during an ambush. The world lost a great rat that day, but no one would forget what he did for the reputation of rat kind. 
That is, until you see a swarm of relentless rats coming your way and your mind simply goes back to hating those things. Rats aren't as evil and cruel as they tend to be in magic, of course, but in that world, they can be some of the most destructive and dangerous creatures to exist. Many people fear rats, and in MTG, no one ever expects the surprise Relentless Rats deck. And that, my friends, is the legacy of rats in Magic the Gathering. As a part of my 13 Nights of Magic, I'll of course be giving away a card with this video, but what rat could I possibly choose? There were so many good ones that I just decided to give away an entire Relentless Rats deck. Yep, for this video, I'll be giving away a full deck constructed around Relentless Rats. You can find the card list in the description below. To enter for your chance to win this deck, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel and leave a comment on this video. At the end of the 13 Nights series, I'll announce the winner in a special video. Remember, each Night of Magic brings you a new topic and another chance to win. So stay tuned to see what other Monsters of Magic are offered this October. This series and its giveaways are brought to you by abugames.com. ABUGames.com is a leading online store for all things Magic the Gathering, and I really recommend you guys checking them out. In any case, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends. It goes a long way in supporting future content. As always guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next Night of Magic.